and, uh, and that's it. But it's it's good. It's very good to step back from from these things because it's hard. It's hard work. There is basically no thanks. There's no accolades. Not that I ex expect thanks yeah. uh, from this. And uh, it's I, I'm very proud of what I've done. I know that I've woken up an awful lot of people. Mm. Uh, I've become a punch bag for the media in this country, mm. in Ireland. And um, so it's it's not easy. So I, I've kind of come to the view that it's perhaps become counterproductive what I've been doing. So uh, I certainly I need a break. I, I really do need a break. I'm just going to concentrate on other things and let other people run with the gold kit, mm -hmm. you know, and spread the information as uh, mm -hmm. as I've been doing. I think uh, I mean personally, I, I'd like to thank you and from our listeners on the show, we'd like to thank you for doing what you're doing and putting your head above the. Uh, pulpit because a lot of people could easily turn around and say I'm not going to do it because of the media bashing. Um, it's it's sad to say it's you know I, I look at this from a psychological point of view and, and that's how why I, I kind of climatize myself and try and understand it with people is that these people are just ignorant and and that's it at the end of the day I feel sorry for them when they don't understand and they have a go. I don't, I don't get upset by it or if I try to talk to somebody about it and you just say, you know, oh yeah, that's a conspiracy theory or whatever. I do, I do try and approach it from a psychological point of view. And well, you, you gotta, you got to hand it to the establishment. I mean, you know, they've been very, very clever. Mm -hmm. We're talking about years of conditioning, years of Definitely. Uh, propagandizing, mm -hmm. you know. Even down to the flicker rates on TV, which yeah. uh, particularly in the States, which puts people into a semi-hypnotic state. Mm -hmm so that the, the information goes directly into the subconscious. Very clever, very clever stuff. So this is what you're up against. So we have to be very gentle, I believe, with our, with our more asleep mm. brothers and sisters and not with our family, but I'm talking about people in general. Yeah. Um, and they, because uh, people will have no choice but to wake up, particularly when it starts to affect them, um, as it is now, it's affecting people, people yeah. in their pocket, of course. Mm. And... Um, I, there, there are there, there are warning signs on the horizon that's I that I think are going to be detrimental for the to the, the overall health of of Europeans, and that is uh, you know you know about that they're they're now banning basically traditional herbal medicines. That's right, yeah. Uh, I believe that there's only been seventy one or seventy two of them approved, mm. but at weak strengths. Mm. And uh, can you imagine the amount of herbal medicines available in, this, say, Chinese Chinese medicine? Yeah. I mean, there's thousands and yeah. thousands. Mm. So, and uh, the, uh, I believe that they're going to start pulling uh, certain vitamins off the shelves in the UK as well. I mean, this is this is happening. And I know that in my local um, health food shop uh, up in the north of Ireland, that she has had to pull certain things off the shelf now. This is insanity, mm. but it's not just insanity. If you think that if you if you if there's an agenda to keep people in a state of sickness and mm. uh, unable to actually prevent illness, well then there's much more money for the for the big pharmaceutical companies. Well, it's, it's and it also <coughs> facilitates depopulation. Mm. I know people don't want to talk about that, mm. but depopulation is. The agenda mm. of an elite. They consider this earth to be their playground, and there's too many people on it. Mm. And uh, you know they, they they would like to reduce the population significantly. This they even write about it in their documents. I mean, if you go George into Guidestones, George Guidestones, you get into Henry Kissinger's NSSM 200 mm. National Stu Security Study Memorandum 200. He calls for the depopulation of 13 third world countries. Uh, these people are very sick. They probably believe that they're doing the right thing, mm -hmm. and so we need to awaken and to peacefully fight and not comply with what is happening, because you know, the the, the banning of natural herb herbal medicines and vitamins is a is a direct attack on our own well-being on our own health. Mm -hmm. So there are issues that we you know mm -hmm. we need to try and accelerate this awakening, and uh, I've been doing my best to try and. Um, bring all this information to people. But as I said, I've just been feeling myself that, that it has kind of counterproductive, mm -hmm. it has become counterproductive, me doing it. Mm -hmm. It's now up to other people to yeah. run with the gauntlet, you know? Yeah. Well, I think, uh, as I say, what you've done with the website and the um, uh, the spotlight on the truth uh, movement, what you've done is fantastic. I think yeah. you've done great work. Um, and I just hope that when you take your few months or your time off, that you do decide to come back on the scene and help us promote it 
Um, I don't think it's going to be detrimental to your music um, at all, to be honest with you, because we play a lot of music from bands and on-site bands and people in the truth movement. Yeah, Sorry? News. News. Um, you know, no, they're right about this. Stuff. We had uh, Dave right. Von Keist, who's a, a well established guitar player. He yeah. teaches and writes and everything. His music on, okay, Alan from Exotress from the UK. Um, does, so, there's a lot of musicians out there writing music. Who's to say that we can't set up our own record label yeah. and take from there? I mean, as a music, musician myself, you know, it's something that. Um, I think is going to grow. I think people are going to be more and more coming out talking about it and writing and singing about what's going on. Yeah. Just to educate the people. And again, if that's one way of educating the youth by putting it in the songs. Mm -hmm. Like Rage Against the Machine was beating Simon Kell from the X Factor one year. Mm -hmm. Because everybody said enough's enough. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I mean that's Step what we want. Number one, which they did, yeah. yeah, and that's that's what we want, you know. Yeah. But listen, Jim, again, thanks very much for the interview. Not at all. Not at all. It's much appreciated and I just hope Whatever you have to sort out, you sort out, and it gets rectified, and whatever, you know, you sort out your family, and your family hopefully wake up, you never know, they might see something, and that little spark might just wake them up, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, um, oh, it's, it's uh, we just got to do what we do. Um, I love my family very much, and uh, I know they love me as well. Um, and, uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> as the as the silent minority or yeah. the silent majority, I don't think, Percy speaking, I don't think you're you're not giving up on it. Obviously, your beliefs, are your beliefs, and they're not going to change. You, oh, you've you've, you've, gone so you've, yeah. you've gone so far with the torch. You've gone so far with the torch, and now you're. I think I think you're saying, pass it on to someone else. Let yeah. them rumour for a while. Like for instance, Richard Gage getting on Ireland AM the other day, and he's coming out and he's backing up with science and physics what I what I and many others have been saying for years. Yeah. And he's an architect of the twenty nine years, is it? I mean, fantastic. That you can't. You, you know th this is this is what we need really. You yeah. know, uh, we we can all. We we have to gauge it ourselves, you know, because there are a lot of sacri sacrifices involved in doing this, you know. Yeah. Because uh, you're you're up against a, a monstrous machine. You really are. A, a machine that's been gone a long time. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's more of us. techniques. Yeah. Very clever techniques yeah. of um, of uh, how they marginalise people, or yeah. how they steer people away from what they're saying. Mm. Conspiracy theorists, yeah. conspiracy yeah. theories, and uh, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, do not consider myself a conspiracy theorist. You can call me a conspiracy factualist. Mm. Don't, I don't. I've never been into moon landings or. Mm. Uh, the, the fake moon landings, I mean, or, or, or anything like that. I mean, just it, it was nine eleven that caught my interest because mm. very quickly when you started studying it, you realised that the official story could not be true. Thanks again, Jim, for being an interview, and we hope to see you soon. Not at all. Thank you very much.